Despite the dangerous visitor lurking around Hogwarts, Harry insisted on going to visit Hagrid. He was anxious to hear the outcome of Buckbeak's trial. Was that? I think it was. Poor Buckbeak! Poor Hagrid. They've carried out the execution. Look! It's Scabbers! You see, Ron? Crookshanks was innocent! Do you naughty rat? Oh, run! Ah, 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 Harry, ah, look out! Ah, ah, if that dog can get in, we can. Where does this tunnel come out? Don't know. But we've got to help Ron. Do you hear something? The Ponto! Oh no! A charmed skeleton! We'd better both cast at once! Rick the Rick the Done yet? Rick the Rick the Zephra! Zephra! 
See a way back up. Keep looking. I'll see if I can find a way down to you. Okay. How do I get across this? All right.
This is...
Black is not what you think he is. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. Peter Pettigrew had not only betrayed James and Lily Potter to Voldemort, he had also framed Sirius Black as Voldemort's spy. It was agreed that Pettigrew would be taken back to Hogwarts and turned over to Professor Dumbledore. But there was one more secret to be revealed. at least. Professor Lupin is a werewolf. That sounded like a dog. It must be him. Go and help Sirius. I'll take care of Ron. Leave him alone. He's innocent. Expect an explosion. Expect an explosion! 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 For a brief moment, Harry thought he saw someone trying to help him. Was it his father? But no, it couldn't be. Harry, are you all right? What's happened? Is Sirius okay? Where's Ron? Madam Pomfrey says Ron will be all right. He just needs some rest. Unfortunately, Sirius Black is not faring so well. He's locked in a high tower. He'll be handed over to the Dementor soon. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But he's innocent! 
present! I believe that's true. What we need is more time. But... oh! The Time Turner! Time Turner? More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. I meant to tell you. Eventually. Professor McGonagall let me borrow this Time Turner. I've been using it all year to go back in time so I could attend extra lessons. That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak! And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. But we must take care not to be seen by our earlier selves. in there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? Look! There's Bugbeak! Brilliant! Let's find a way to get to it. There must be a way to make this platform go up. The Pulso! You did it! Perfect. Careful now. Right. Oh no! The door closed! Well, there's got to be a way out. Nice one, Hermione. You open the door, but it's too high for me to reach. Does that help? Perfect. Hold tight. I'll see what's in there.
where he is. Hold on, Rugbeak! We'll get you out of there! The Pogo! The Pogo! I'll go and see if it's time to rescue Sirius. Be careful, Harry! Still using the power of the Time Turner, Harry hurried towards the lake. He had to learn who had cast the Patronus spell that had saved him from the Dementors. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. It's Vector Patronum! I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry, we've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right. Let's go. to go. They'll be here any moment. Quick, go! How can I ever thank... Go! We'll see each other again. You are truly your father's son. Man. 